Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about Copilot Plus. So if you don't know what that is, Microsoft two days ago has uh, announced that they're going to be implementing computers with AI in them. So they're working with different kinds of chipset ma manufacturers and computer brands to bring, bring computers that actually have a neural processing unit in them. So if you don't already know, there's two very important key things to a computer that, you know, makes it the systems we have today. There's the CPU and there's the GPU. The CPU is what handles all the processing. It does all the math. It runs your operating system. It runs all the applications on it. It's a, it's it's literally the thing that processes everything that's going on there. Then there's the GPU. It's what handles your graphics. It's what lets you see things. It also sometimes handles sound. It's the reason we can play games with really real, realistic graphics because it can do all the advanced math to handle all of the geometry and such. So two very important things. So they're seeking to make a neural processing unit, which is a processor that would be in your computer that specifically runs AI tasks. So they're, they're already doing very interesting things with this, such as AI powered image generation on hardware, uh, integrating it with applications like Adobe. So Adobe Illustrator and Premiere Pro and Photoshop are going to be um, are going to be integrating the neural processing unit into their application so you can do AI tasks not in the cloud but on your computer and DaVinci Resolve and a bunch of other creative applications are seeking to implement this and they already have implemented it and Microsoft themselves are doing some interesting things with this. But one thing that's gotten a lot of controversy and it's gotten a lot of people talking is one feature that Microsoft is looking to implement. So I'm going to be showing it to you here real quick. It's called Recall. So Microsoft, uh, I'm just going to read out what they've said here. We set out to solve one of the most frustrating problems we encounter daily, finding something we know we have seen before on our PC. Today, we must remember what file it was stored in, what website it was on, or scroll through hundreds of emails trying to find it. But with Recall, you can access visually what you've seen or done on your PC in a way that feels like having a photographic memory. Basically, Microsoft is trying to implement browsing history, but for your whole computer. And there's a lot of people talking about the privacy implications of this and the privacy concerns, which obviously there are. You may not exactly want your computer recording everything you do and tagging it with like descriptions for you um letting it be easily searched and there's there's reasons for it to be a good a feature that exists and there's reasons for it not to there's people who are obviously concerned about well you know what if microsoft will send this information to their servers or to like their business partners what if somebody who like goes onto a computer and knows the password for it uses recall to see what that person was doing at a specific time there's obviously a lot of concerns that some people have and i think they're i think they're warranted um this isn't a feature that's available yet um the computers with the neural processing units i don't think are available yet and as, as well and this feature isn't available yet so the software and the hardware um aren't available for use so we still kind of have to wait to see how this all really works in practice. Um, but it is something I figured I'd bring up because Microsoft is trying to do this. There's people who have very mixed opinions about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think it's interesting. I think we still kind of have to see how this actually works because, well, we kind of can't yet. This is just Microsoft saying, hey, we built a thing. So we still kind of have to see how this really works in actual practice because we can't yet but soon we will be able to and um, honestly i'll make a update video eventually when that is when the time does come showing you about how what this is and how it kind of works and all that stuff so yeah uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below uh like comment subscribe uh, share this with your friends if there's something you guys want me to cover uh let me know and i'll take a look at it and yeah take care